14 Dog Adventures, run, boy, run. Everything you need is here under the sun. Everything you need is here under the sun. Welcome to this week's training tip. This week, we head off to the National Shed Dog Competition. We're going to get some great tips on how to train your dog for shed hunting, as well as handling them in the field. We are going to the National Shed Dog Competition today. We're going to go there, we're going to learn about how to get your dog involved in shed hunting. And then if you want to run a competition, how to do something truly fun in the spring with your dog. I've got my son Callahan along with me. He decided to tag along to see what the shed hunting stuff is all about. Who knows? Maybe we'll get Lucy, the singing Labrador, into shed hunting and run her in the competition next year. Once we arrived at the competition, Tom Dockin, the organizer of the events and owner of Oak Ridge Kennels, took us out and showed us the courses that the competitors would be working on. Here today we got four courses, so we're going to have food plots involved on some of the courses. We're going to have a CRP field that's mm -hmm. involved as well. You're going to have some woods. Uh, maybe there'll be a combination of woods and maybe a little bit of swamp ground. Mm -hmm. So we always say if it's an area that when you're out hunting for sheds that you could potentially find a shed antler, we're going to give you that, you know, situation. Hey, we're here in Northfield, Minnesota. The handlers meeting is about to start. We got a little bit of a lay of the land with uh, Tom Dockin. Cal, ready to go and start the competition. Are you excited? Yeah, just mm -hmm. because of the dogs. There's a lot of dogs here, aren't there? Well, we're gonna head in. I hope you guys enjoy this part of the show. This is a rapidly growing sport. At the handlers meeting, we got to see a lot of different people, some more recognizable than others. The bottom line is, anybody can get involved and the playing field is level. It's easier than what people think. They go, oh my goodness, how can I get a dog to pick up a shed antler? I always tell them this, if your dog will go out and pick up a ball or pick up a training dummy, mm -hmm. think of that antler like it's just a training dummy. Start with a small antler and just do some fun tosses and then you can just start hiding them in the backyard. And I say out in plain sight to begin with. It, it is literally that easy. And then you can just start doing, hiding them in different areas. Now start going to the woods. Uh, it's all about building their confidence up. The dogs that do best here are dogs that have high retrieve desire. Mm -hmm. Because when they're out there hunting, you want to know that if he does find one, that his first instinct is to pick it up and then come back. This competition had dogs of all ages. We had young dogs, we had old dogs. We had dogs with a lot of experience. We had dogs that could be considered novices, but were performing at a high level. John Byer, Bloomer, Wisconsin. Hey. What do we got here for a dog? Uh, we got Oakley. This is Oakley the dog. What kind of, what kind of dog is Oakley? Uh, German short-haired pointer. So most of the people here have Labrador Retrievers. Yep. You're a little different. Yes, I am. Um, we're the outcast, I guess you could say, with three German short hairs that we run. Now, Oakley was only seven months old. John did ask us prior to the run to please stay back just a little bit so we were not a distraction in the field. So how did Oakley do? Very well. She found all six sheds and she was under four minutes. Under four minutes and only yeah. seven months old. Yes, eight months. Eight months old. Yeah, eight months. So we don't have to be an old dog to run this game. No, we don't. We got to be a young dog that will focus. On our next run, we go from running in a woods to an open field. Now, this is more difficult because the wind is going to be much more of a factor. With the wind in this open field, Carmen has several things he needs to do to be successful. First, he has to thoroughly work the field, which is clearly marked for the competitors, and make sure that the dog quarters and runs through every section of it. Carmen also has the challenge of dealing with the wind, where he needs to take the wind and use it to his advantage. The wind on your screen is blowing uphill, so what he needs to do is keep Leo on the top of the field and let Leo work into the scent cone of the antlers that are down. Now this can prove to be a challenge because you still have to be thorough in the field and cover all the quadrants where the antler could be because the scent and the scent cone will disperse after a certain point. Leo ran the field pretty quick. He was finding everything right off the bat. We struggled to find one antler. Um, seemed like it was a high placement, so I'm guessing that the scent was blown over the top of him and he struggled to find that last antler. But all in all, we're fairly happy. We'd like to find all of them, but we, we were able to find what we could given the situations and the conditions in the field. Shed hunting is one of the fastest growing sports. It's something that big game 
wing shooters, and even non-hunters can enjoy with their dog. Welcome to this week's canine tip. This spring, we took a trip to watch a national shed dog hunting competition. Once we were at the competition, we met with Tom Dockin, owner of Oak Ridge Kennels and organizer of the event. Tom gave us some insight on the competition and how to get involved. I love to deer hunt. I like to bow hunt and, and uh, you know train dogs. We weren't, weren't the first people to teach a dog how to get shed, but mm -hmm. I thought, you know what? I enjoy it so much. There's so many other people that do too. Why not get an organization together that you know people are are like-minded, can go out compete, and you know the the hunt test stuff has been around forever. Yep. So we've just kind of followed that format and uh, you know started uh, our event series. We have a junior, uh, senior, and a master level that we have and. And it's a good way for people to get out, do some competition, but more so than anything else is to give them a motivation to go and train. This competition is open to any dog. You don't have to be a purebred registered dog to run it. You can have a dog of mixed breed, which we'll get to see in one of our upcoming runs. And that's what this is about. It's not about, you know, your dog has to have this certain kind of registration open to anybody. You've seen lots of kids. Women are, are really, you know, into the sport. And this is a family sport. The nice part is it's, it's a non-shooting sport, so you can pretty much put on one of these trials anywhere. We've mm -hmm. done it in a downtown setting just because of that, you know, in certain areas. This is Newman, and Newman's a rescue mutt that was surrendered at about four months old. He's not a natural working dog, <laughs> part Chihuahua, part Boston Terrier, so we do work for treats and it was all clicker trained. It's harder for him because he doesn't have the sight, so he, you can see him circle around it as a bullseye and then finally he'll go in for it. Where most labs will, they'll get close and then they'll look for it. And um, he has to get almost right on top of it to be able to, to find it and bring it in. He's good at it and he likes it and he, and he works hard and yeah, he's fun. Here with Mike Stecker. Mike, we get your dog Lexi. You are about to run. You excited? I am. It's the uh, third year here, so. When did you get started in shed hunting? When I bought her, actually. Really? Okay. So that was. She's four years old now. So I, I went down. I went before that, um, but got a little bit more serious and decided to get a dog and train her. Hopefully, she picks up the first one. She blows by him every once in a while, but um, no, just get through the course as quick as possible. Um, hopefully, she finds the majority of them. If I can help her out a little bit and find one or two, that's always a, always a bonus. So now just basically playing the wind is a big part of it and covering as much ground as quick as you possibly can. But hopefully we get done in two minutes and we'll call it good. All right, so you get done with your run, how'd you do? I uh, made an error on one of them. Yeah, I just pretty much walked right by one. Well, the main thing is, did you have fun? We had a lot of fun. That's good. And she gets to go jump in the water, so she's happy about that. Are you going to jump in as well? No. You should. She, she just told me <laughs> she wanted you to jump in with her. Yeah, it's a little chilly out. I forgot my Speedo at home, too, so... We couldn't film that anyway, no, probably. probably. Running competition with your shed dog is something that is family-friendly and a lot of fun. It's a growing sport where these competitions are popping up all over our great country. Whether you're a seasoned handler or you're new to the sporting dog world, this is yet another competition where you can go out, work with your dog, and continue to build that bond. If you're looking for a puppy, training, or want to use one of our stud dogs, contact us at SoggyAcres.com.